Hi, welcome to Networking Bytes. I'm Dan Jones, I'm a wireless engineer here at Natilic, and I'm providing you with insights into wireless networking. Config challenges. One of the things that we need to think about is what are we designing for, whether that's the clients, the applications, the space. So let's have a, let's have a think about that. What, what device are we looking at? Wireless works very differently from a cable. Every device has different capabilities. Every device hears the Wi-Fi completely differently. Between my laptop and my phone, there's like a 10 dB difference, which means that 10 times more energy hits my laptop than does my phone. So we have to make some kind of conscious decisions about what device we're designing for. Now, we tend to kind of think about our least capable but most important device. What might that be? Some places it will be the CEO's iPhone. In other places it might be like a barcode scanner in a warehouse. That's the thing that has to work in order for the, the network to be successful. And what we do is we design for that device, the least capable, most important device, device. We make sure that that one works and works perfectly. And then we can tailor everything else to, to make sure that the rest of the network ticks over as it should. We need to think about things like the applications that we're using. Are we designing for a real-time database system that has to have data with really low latency? Are we designing a network where 4K video is the king? It has to work for 4K video, whether it's like a design studio where it's got massive files, or is it maybe we're designing for things like video conferencing? Each of those applications has different things that we need to set the network up to, to work for. The other thing that we need to think about is the density. And this might vary in various parts of the office. There might be some spaces that are really high density. We've got lots of desks in, in one space. There might be an event space. There might be a really open, wide, relaxed space where there isn't going to be much density at all. Again, all of these things have implications on how we configure the network. So we need to take those into consideration. So how have our wireless networks changed pre and post pandemic? Well, one of the main things now is that we're seeing a lot more companies doing this hybrid working. So there might be less people in the office, but the applications they're using is very, very different. Previously, we saw a lot of just web and email, things like that happening over the wireless. Whereas now we're seeing these real time applications, things like voice and video that are happening and they have to happen really quick. We have to have virtually no latency, no jitter. That puts a really different demand on, on the wireless network. The other thing that we're seeing is, you know, there are less users and things like that, but we're also seeing that we need to start thinking more about the security. Because more kind of business critical things are happening on the wireless, we're having to have a look at a lot of the kind of ways that we're securing that network, but also thinking about things like guest networks and how we allow people really seamlessly, frictionlessly onto our network so that they can get work done in our space too. Thanks for watching this Networking Bytes video. If you want any more information, please get in touch.